Do you want to build a lean and muscular physique but you're not sure how to meal prep as a vegan? Don't worry, I've got you covered. I've been doing this for a whole decade. I'll show you quick, easy, no mess, no fuss. Let's do it. I've not gone too in depth on quantities because of course needs vary. If you want help working out how many calories you need and how much of this to actually make, download my free vegan nutrition e-guide, sort all that out for you. So in order to be the most efficacious with our time, we're starting with dinner, which is gonna be African peanut and lentil stew with baked potatoes. They need to be going on. Get them in the microwave. Cook them on full power for 20 minutes, flipping once halfway through. We're also gonna preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. So we want lots of lovely veggies for the stew. I'm starting with onions and garlic. So we get this into the pan. And we'll chop some more veg of your choice. I'm going for broccoli, cavolo nero, carrot, red and yellow peppers, and courgette. Now we'll steam fry the garlic and onions until the onions are translucent. Then we get the potatoes onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper and put them in the oven for 15 minutes or until golden. Now we want to blend together a can's worth of tomatoes, two teaspoons of ginger, three tablespoons of chili sauce, three tablespoons of ketchup, four teaspoons of cumin, two tablespoons ground coriander, four teaspoons of harissa powder and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now we add this in with the onions and garlic. Bring to the boil and then simmer for five minutes. Now we add two litres of vegetable stock. 320 grams of lentils goes in. Lentils are a really great healthy food for bodybuilding because they're very high in protein but lower in fibre so you can fit more in. Also one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, four tablespoons of peanut butter and your veggies. I'm holding the broccoli back so I want to present it differently. Bring to the boil and then simmer for 15 minutes. For lunch we're making an edamame quinoa salad with a ginger miso dressing so we'll get the quinoa on to cook. Remember guys it's two parts water to one part quinoa. Quinoa is really great for bodybuilding because not only is it very high in protein, but it's high in all the essential amino acids. We'll also get the broccoli on to steam now. Then we'll chop some veggies for the salad. I've got lettuce, red cabbage, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, yellow pepper, radishes, spring onions, and I'll grate some carrot. So now we're making the salad dressing. We want five tablespoons of brown miso eight tablespoons of tahini. Now we want three tablespoons of ginger juice. If you've not got a juicer, grate some ginger. And then just squeeze it into your tablespoon. Then we want two tablespoons of rice vinegar. <laughs> That's gone stupid. One tablespoon of mustard. Two teaspoons of powdered garlic. Eight tablespoons of water and two teaspoons of maple syrup. Weirdly, we're making the breakfast last. We're gonna do a tofu scramble. So we want to get some tofu pressing to get the water out. Now you can use a tofu press, like what it is that I have here. Um, we'll also show you a method if you wanna use a clean tea towel and some books. So for the book method, we pop it on a clean tea towel. Just wrap that over and just pop some nice heavy books. And you need to leave these for about 10 minutes. While that's happening, we're gonna make some chia puddings which are gonna be used as snacks. Break off a couple of bananas into a bowl. Bananas actually have shockingly low levels of potassium despite what people tell you, but they are great workout fuel. We're gonna add in 12 tablespoons of chia seeds. We'll also add 600 mils of soya milk and a teaspoon of cinnamon. We'll set this aside, but you want to mix it through kind of two or three times while it's setting. So we're going to grill some mushies and some tomatoes with our scrambled tofu. Go okay, for about 10 minutes, 11 even, <laughs> wrong button. Pan on the medium heat, we're going to crumble 
the tofu blocks into the pan. Stir fry for a few minutes until the excess water has evaporated. Now we'll add a good whack of spinach. Don't worry, this will wilt down to next to nothing. Just a great way of getting your greens in. As well as having masses of protein, tofu is also great for calcium, which is actually what is required to contract the muscle fibers. And it's got a lot of zinc, which is important for testosterone production. We're gonna make the zinc more bioavailable with a heaped tablespoon of garlic powder. For color and anti-inflammatory properties, we'll do a heaped tablespoon of turmeric. We're gonna use black salt or kala namak, which actually is sort of sulfur rich. It makes it taste like eggs and we'll have a few twists of black pepper to balance out the heat of the african lentil stew we're going to make a creme fraiche we're going to add about 120 mils of water to begin with 150 grams of cashews and the juice of half a lemon for the second snack we're going to make a trail mix so we're going with some raisins any dried fruit you like these are kind of broken bits but we're going to go in with about one brazil nut per portion brazil nuts are great for selenium if our selenium is low our thyroid function can be low and we can find it hard to make lean muscles a few pumpkin seeds some pistachios and some sunflower seeds so now we're at the plate and upstage we're going to decant the chia pudding just for decoration we're going with some berries Got some black grapes, a little pomegranate arils. Most of them on the table. And we'll finish with a mint leaf. We'll have a big slice of watermelon as well. I like to have a piece of fresh fruit with every meal if I can. We're gonna chop up some avo to go with the tofu. I'm going in with half a can of sugar-free beans. Quinoa is going on the bottom. We're adding some edamame beans, which are extremely high in protein. Then I forgot my spring onion. Normally I'd pour this over, but for the sake of the thumbnail, I want to put it into ramekins. These are obviously far too small. I didn't think of it ahead of time. So imagine these are big ramekins, if you will. So we're serving the lentil and peanut stew with these potatoes. So we chop these in half. Like some broccoli up one corner. So we're gonna garnish with a bit of coriander, some peanuts, and some chili flakes. The creme fraiche, I'll just dot it up the corner so people can mix it in, you know, if you find the dishes a bit too hot for you. If you found this video useful, you'll want to watch this one next.